In this video of Power BI tutorials, we're going to talk about R visuals. R, as you know, is one of the most preferred machine learning data, data science languages to find relations, data patterns, data mining on the data, multiple data sets. So in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to utilize R visuals. And then in the tutorials to come, we're going to talk about applying forecasting and other algorithms from R. So let's get started. So as I said, we are going to talk about Power BI and R visuals. So download the data from this location, HTTPS, Google Drive. This drive is also mentioned in the comment section, the description section of the video below. Create a folder, C drive R, or you can use any other folder. The CSV file should be available in this location. Retail underscore sales underscore data dot CSV is the file. Import the data in Power BI from the get data option and then navigate to the file location. We are looking at retail sales data dot CSV. So I'm going to go to Power BI, get data sources text and CSV. If it is not visible on your screen, click on more below. Text CSV and then I'm going to get retail sales data and say open. You would be able to see the data set. It shows channel, category, code, customer, sales state, sales cost and stuff. Click on load and this would load the data. You can see the columns on the right side. From the visualization section, click on the R script visual, then click on the enable button as I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it below. And then please note that you would need to install R. If you have not installed R yet, you can go to the CRAN R website or you can also go to the Microsoft R open source platform. So just download and install R. You have to make sure that it's installed. So I'm going to go here, click on R. It will ask you to enable. Just click on enable here. And this will be R script editor. Whatever the columns you select from here, it's going to be available as data set on this visual. Select columns, item names, sales quantity and discount. So I'm gonna go back in here, click on item name, sales quantity and discount. You can see that the R script visual here is not changed, but these three items have been added here. And in the below thing, you would see a data set, which is creating a data frame. I a, a data frame which is data set using item name, sales quantity and discount being created. Now you will be able to write R code here. This is just a beginning so I'm going to write a very simple code and then we will do amazing stuff in the next few videos. So write the following piece of code below which is going to use the box plot and I'm going to take this copy, go back in PowerPoint, Power BI and just paste it. So it's going to create a box plot using the data set dollar sales quantity main box plot. That means the main label is going to be box plot or I would say my box plot and then Y label would be sales quantity. Please note that this sales quantity dollar sales quantity means a column from data set sales quantity. If you want to learn more about R, I'm going to show you where you can go and find more details about R programming. On YouTube, if you search for machine learning, do it yourself. It's all about R and there are close to 45 videos which talks about just R and how to learn R. So coming back here, once you have box plot, data set, main box plot, just click on this run script and you would see that a box plot is created. You can add a slicer by clicking on the item name 
and click on filter here just expand this a bit you can see this is the box plot this shows the the range the median values for the sales quantity based on this these items so click back again you would see the script so add the slicer which we have already done let's find some correlations so let's find a correlation between sales quantity and discount and this would be the box plot for finding out the correlation please get this code from the description section of the video below and I'm gonna write this code again here I want to comment out the previous code I'm just gonna type the pound sign in front of the code to comment it out and there you go so it shows you the discount and the sales quantity relationship in a form of box plot you can see that the lower the discount the lower is the sales quantity obviously if you have more discounts the quantity goes higher so this is a very good relationship understanding on how it does it's not a it's not a rocket science here but it just tells you what's in the data the quantity goes up with discount so more the discount more the quantity or vice versa that's how you would find a correlation time to pause the video and do some hands-on exercises so use the same PBIX file which we have been using earlier using F sales and then use histogram and box plot to test out the R visuals please note that you can find the YouTube series for R machine learning in the description section of the video below use this link and watch the videos thank you for watching